Hi, it's time for another love poem. This one um, is from a book by a friend, but let me first note that you may note that I have quite a collection of heart jewelry. Um, it's my way of reminding myself and others that love is the answer to so many problems in this world. This particular heart came from my friend Emily Jones, who was my mentor in NOW. Um, it, she gave it to me at a time when the feminist movement was changing from the long battle for the Equal Rights Amendment, which she and others had spearheaded, and into the battle for reproductive rights in particular and domestic violence. At that time, Emily had had some personal problems that caused her to step back from leadership. And suddenly I, the novice, her vice president was pushed into a chapter presidency that eventually became a state presidency and you know, so many other things. Um, but with this heart came a little note that said, this is how I want to tell you that my heart is always with you, even when my body isn't. And it was such a wonderful thing now that she's passed. I'm so happy to have it and to be able to wear it. I hope you have pieces of jewelry that have lovely memories like that. Today's poem comes from a book written by a friend of mine, Ellen Lafletch. It's called Walking Into Lightning. It's a series of poems that she wrote in the wake of the death of her husband. And so many of you I know have lost loved ones or fear losing loved ones. Every poem in this collection is incandescent. I strongly recommend it to you. There are so many I would like to read. Um, and I hope this won't be hard for Ellen if she happens upon this post. But I couldn't not read you one poem, at least, from this book. This one is called, We Reminisce About Our First Winter Solstice. Oh, the slow blizzard that night how white wings of snow spiraled around the street lamp, a languorous gathering of winter moths. We walked in circles through the blizzard, snowdrops dissolved on your tongue like a newborn's memory of milk. I was the angel maker, dropping into snow, staring at the sky where the solstice moon should have been glowing. My limbs carved fragile wings in the drifts. Remember the slow fire you stoked for us, how you knelt in front of the fireplace and stroked the log into a star rush of sparks, how the flames braided themselves into a twilled basket that you filled with kindling. Remember our unhurried love, how you gave pleasure to my wrist, my elbows, my rib cage. On the longest night of the year, I had time to love your face, to tender your brow with my fingers. Your eyelash was a slash of moon on my thumb. Isn't that lovely? There are so many more I could read you from this book. I strongly recommend it to you. Walking into Lightning by Ellen LaFletch. So many of us have such memories. I hope that if you've lost a loved one, you have something to hold on to. A poem, a piece of art, photographs, a piece of jewelry, something that you can hold and bring them back. Much love to all of you out there and especially to Ellen 
and her family.